Hey, I'm Morgan, and this week's topic is uh, your biggest surprise about transition, either socially or physically. And I'm about two and a half months on T, and something that surprised me very much because everyone is like, I'm five years on T, and I only recently started getting facial hair, and I'm three mo- three years on T, and it's like the beard is actually happening now, and I'm like two and a half months on T, and I have like beard happenings happening, if that makes sense. It doesn't, but yeah, like I have hair here. It's like blonde, but it, it's there. I feel it right now, and I have I have one hair like right here or three, and then it's it's happening, and it's underneath, and there's a lot here, and it's mostly blonde, but some of them are, like, darker, and some of them are blonde. So, there's that. And the fact that the majority of people I saw didn't get that way until quite some time down the road kind of threw me off. I really hope they don't come in here. No, they're just walking around outside. Anyway, uh, yeah, that surprised me. I guess it shouldn't have because like I've always had magnificent legs. They're very nice. Like um like this was like the amount of whoop oh, like I don't know if you can see. I don't know. Anyway, I've always had like a lot of leg hair if I didn't shave and yes. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm a hairy person, so I guess it shouldn't surprise me. But it did and it does to this day. Um, something socially, I guess, that surprises me is I, I, I tend to forget that I've been, <laughs> I've been in the same high school for the last three years of my life, and this is the last year I will have to be in high school, but sometimes I forget <laughs> that I grew up with these people since, like, third grade, and I was, we were doing nominations for homecoming today. And I was listed under the queen section. (laughs) And it was really, really strange and also alarming. And I forgot that they don't know pretty much. I mean, they know, but it's not on records because it doesn't... It's not. That's all that matters. It's just not. So every time I line up in gym class, it's you go boy, girl, boy, girl. And then I like stand behind Cassie and then someone's like, we need a boy over here. And I'm just like, hello. I'm right here, but it they don't count me because <laughs> they don't realize, and it's my fault. It really it's my fault for not telling anyone, like not being like, "Yo, stop that." But whatever, I'm not. I I tend to avoid conflict, so I am always surprised when they're like, "We need a boy over here," and I'm like, "But," and then I realize, and Cassie sometimes forgets too because she knows, and she's just like, "Morgan is he," and. So when that happens, we're both surprised. (laughs) And then I thought that some of my family was going to be like, get out of here when I was like, I'm trans, this is happening. I'm trans, oh my god, I'm trans, this is happening. I thought they were going to be like, get out, but they weren't. They were almost all very, very supportive. I got asked if I was going to do the full trans, though, by my aunt (laughs) at my family reunion. Um, I have not yet told my uncle who's like a pastor, church minister guy, I don't know what it is, like someone who can marry people. I think it's a minister. I'm not religious. I'm sorry if I got that wrong, but I haven't told him yet because he's the guy. (laughs) Sometimes I'll like share things on Facebook with, you know, LGBT positive things. And then one time I was like, someone, it was a post and it was something like, I, ch- I didn't choose to be gay, just like you didn't choose to be straight. Like, when is the set day that you decided you were going to be straight? And he commented, like, I kissed a girl named Sally on the cheek in, in, in kindergarten, and that is the day I chose to be straight. And I was like, okay, but go away. All right, um, anyway, I'll talk to you next week when I... I don't have very much to say about next week, but I'll talk to you next week anyway. Bye.